Coming up next, a UFC featherweight division fight. Well, there is no denying this man's striking credentials. Prevailing wisdom is he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. He has to. You know, this is what got him to the show. It was being able to use the hands to set up the kicks. We all talk about the high-level boxing background of this young man. But as he's developed, he's developed great knees. Yeah. He's developed great timing, great counter skills, and also the beautiful right high kick. The right high kick is something he hides very well as he follows with a jab right hand, left hook. High kick comes over the top, and he can put you to sleep. No doubt about it. He will try to put on a striking clinic once again here tonight. Well, this is exciting here, DC. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts. Bruce Lee is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed. It was the charisma. It was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's going to look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes, would make yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. All right, now let's get to the tail of the tape for this featherweight tilt. Four years, the difference in age between these two fighters with some differences in height and a similar reach. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Eve LeVay. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC featherweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 138 pounds. Fighting at a Kiev, Ukraine, assassin. And now, introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 7 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon. Okay, guys, protect yourself at all times, obey my command at all times. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. This fight gets underway, and you hate to call any fighter on this UFC roster a specialist. But on one side, you have a definite striker taking on a true 5 2 player. And you see a guy in the striker who knows exactly who he is. He knows where the fight needs to be. He knows what he has to do in order to be successful. Let's see if he can keep his opponent off of him. Slip there to avoid the punch by Lee. Head kick partially blocked. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if there's more where that came from. Boxing, boxing, boxing. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Big body kick lands. Edge of your seat action as expected so far. Oh, 
Oh, trying to turn out the lights with that roundhouse kick, but just misses. It's not over, it's not over. Lee going for the body, targeting that area with the kick, but unable to land. Hands on your face. Well, he misses with the left punch there. Oh, that's a good strike there by Lee. Strong defense here as the hook to the head is blocked. Ooh, head kick land and hurt. And he landed the right hand there. Double jam, All right, under three minutes now to go in round one. Big ball for the land. Now we get back. Caught that. No, there's danger in that too because when you start reaching down to catch that kick, here comes the high kick, and then you're in a lot of trouble. Lands a glancing right hand upstairs. Single collar tie now. Well, it's one thing to have length, it's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Lee. Oh, nice. Going for the head kick. No dice. Oh, blocks that kick to the body. Nicely done. Be first, be first. Big leg kick lands. Oh, beautiful kick to the body there. And he just left himself wide open for that strike. Very vulnerable by leaning in, keeping the guard high to allow for an opening down low. Nice straight one. Got the kicking game going tonight, Lance. Another one there. A beautiful kick, and all I can think of better him than me. Oh, nice job by him to get the knee to the target there, using his length exceptionally well tonight. Oh, knee to the head. And now he engages in a Muay Thai clinch, and I think a lot of people watching wonder how you can control an opponent like that. Hard to get out of. It's very difficult to get out of. Look and notice how tight his elbows are as he's maneuvering and moving his opponent into positions where he can get off the strikes. And he caught the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. And now he's got that tie clinch. Lee gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. Twenty seconds left. Fifteen seconds to go. Straight right is there. Look at him drive his shins into the opponent's body with that body kick. Oh, bleeding from his cheek now. Damage done. Five minutes in the books. All right, let's take a look back at some of the highlights from those previous five minutes, DC, and uh, no padding, no glove on that foot. No glove, no padding, and look at the hip action when he throws those kicks. He's not only kicking just for feel, he's really trying to damage his opponent, and as the fight goes longer, you will start to see it taking effect. Round two is upon us. Your thoughts on round one, champ? Round one was a very close round. Both guys had their moments, but nobody has really went out of his straight as we go into the second round. Real quick leg kick. Nice kicks there by Lee. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Head off the center line, slips the punch. Nice strike. He's throwing every part of himself 
into these big leg kicks. He blocks the punch. Now connects with a right. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab. He may float a right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that it's going to land, and he's got to really throw his whole entire body into those strikes. Oh, beautiful strike there as he lands up top, and he does so right after catching the leg. So maybe you thought he would catch the leg and go for a takedown. Instead, he goes for the punch, and he certainly found the range on that one. Over and over, he landed a big body kick. Beautiful punch. Way to hide that leg kick. Glancing right hand lands upstairs. Oh! Head kick. Lands a nice one, two. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. A little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here, and as a result, he has taken control of this second round. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Oh, how about this kicking game on full display tonight? Kicks back to back, and just truly mixing up the target. Sight to behold. Oh, nice check on the leg kick offering there. Hands high, hands high. I mean, he's cutting down the side with these beautiful leg kicks. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Oh, perfect head kick there. Shot is blocked. That one landed clean. And both guys really throwing with authority. Oh, that right hand is on point. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Caught that kick there. Well, looks as though his leg is hurt here. You can even see him limping a little bit. Oh, over the top. This fight's gonna be over. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high when his opponent thought he was going low, and now he's got him hurt very badly. Well, he's the taller fighter and able to land a knee to the body with relative ease there. Thirty seconds to go in round two. Slips. Oh, you gotta like the output here. So aggressive with the strikes, he continues to light him up. Gotta be careful here not to gas out, of course. But you gotta like the offense we're seeing from him, especially in this round. Massive head kick. Minutes. All right, so an entertaining five minutes. Let's look back at some of the highlights, DC, and I'd imagine a lot of these replays are going to be rooted in that kicking game that was on full display. Absolutely. You're going to see a lot of different techniques, but the kicking was the key to him getting ahead in this fight. He's out ahead now. He needs to stay the course and continue to do that as the fight goes on. All right, so after he landed a high number of kicks in the previous round, we'll see if he can keep it going here as our next round gets underway. 
he should stay the course. He's so educated with his legs and his feet that he's given his opponent a very difficult time trying to anticipate what's coming his way. Try to establish that jab. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. He just continues to punish his opponent's midsection here in this round. And he comes through with a big knee. You got him. Nice kick. Oh, he somehow ate that overhand. Wow. Beautiful body he lands right under the elbow. Lee gets caught with that punch. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if that DC, he is hurt. What a beautiful uppercut. It landed beautifully. Perfect placement on that shot. Oh, welcome in there. Beautiful shot to the body. over the top. How's he gonna follow this? Uh. Oh, and he caught the kick. Well, you've got to admire the urgency here. He is trying to keep the judges out of it. Lighten up his opponent left and right. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Real sneaky body kick. Straight punch land. Nice leg kick. Got the single collar tie. He got him whip his hip into that kick. Well, he is at his kickboxing best tonight. Another nice good series of kicks by him there. I mean, the kicks are coming in bunches. Normally, it's the hands. Tonight, he's going kick after kick after kick. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Great punch landed with so much power. Oh, left hook to the head, it's blocked. Out of range with that kick attempt. Great punch. Trying to hammer that lead leg. Lands flush with that right hand. Big kick lands. Just missing on the high kick there. Man, looks like he's trying to set records here, landing all of these strikes. He is aggressive to a fault and really has been all night long as he continues to pour it on. Got to be careful here, though, not to gas out. Just misses with the straight left hand. Such a fast leg kick. Oh, nice punch there by Lee.
Let's get this fight. All right, well, his kicking game was outstanding in that round. We'll see if his opponent can make the adjustments, but take us through the replays before we get there. It's always weird to watch a young fighter start to come into his own. Early in his career, he did not have this ability. He did not have the ability to dictate and control fights with his legs. Now he does, and he looks like a future champion in the making. All right, next round is underway, DC. We talked about his powerful kicks, how he attacks all sides of the body, the head, the legs. Pretty good start for him tonight. That was so impressive to see someone fight almost predominantly with their legs and have that level of success. Slips the punch. Powerful leg kick lands. just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. You don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such toughness to even be on his feet right now. Back to the leg kick now, that one's no good. Oh, and now he lands the knee. I'm not sure his opponent saw that coming. He didn't see it coming because he does such a great job of just throwing. He doesn't have any tell when he's gonna throw a knee. Big head kick lands. They continue to exchange. Oh, the cut on that cheek is only getting worse. His face is a mess. Nice punch lands over the top. Oh, that's a good right hand. Head kick lands. Oh, big left hand there. That shot blocked by Lee. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. minutes remain in round four. Oh, big roundhouse attempt, but unable to land. Oh, a little single collar tie there. Dig and kick. Well, you're not winning a fight necessarily when you're controlling the center of the octagon, but that's what he's trying to do, keep his opponent on the outside, and he has done just that. He has done a fantastic job of doing that because he's setting traps. As his opponent steps left, he just steps to the left. As his opponent goes right, he goes right. He does not follow. He cuts him off, trying to beat his opponent to where he's going before he gets there. This man understands foot movement. He understands traps. It's great to see someone with that type of knowledge of cornering his opponents. Lands the right hand. Nice body kick right on the elbow. Oh, How's his opponent still standing? I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. It might not be over now, but it's going to be over very soon. Attempts the front kick there. 90 seconds to go. Oh, where is he lands and maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Big kick. And you hear the crowd react every time they come together because they understand the power that these guys are striking with. Circling to his right. One minute to go. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Oh, big punch lands. Right 
left hand on point. You take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Punch coming, it's blocked. Final seconds of round four. And there's the buzzer indicating the end of round four. All right, so a big knockdown for him courtesy of that punch in that round. DC, here's a replay. Big moment in the previous round. They were both fighting very well. But when he landed this punch right here that sits his opponent down, it showed that the power is not equal. And if he can land, he does have the ability to damage it. Next round is underway, and I'm no fighter, but these guys look pretty fresh to me. It's insane to be able to carry that workload, that pace, over five minutes and still look as fresh as both of these fighters are. Kick to the body now, that one won't land. Trying to establish that jab once again. Shot is blocked. And that one certainly found the target. Slips that left hand. Just missed with that right hand. Pinpoint accuracy on that kick. No wind up, no tell, just a brutal kick. Look at him working. Oh, and now his opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it was coming high. And now he got hurt bad. Going for the spinning side kick to the body, but he missed. Take the ring. All right, lands a kick there. Pretty well done. Really good accuracy landing that kick. So a big knockdown for him in the previous round. Confidence is high in building here in this next round. Confidence is key, and he has a ton of it right now. Beautiful strike. Oh, and he caught the kick. And they separate. Big kick lands. Under three minutes remain in this fifth round of this championship fight. What a tricky head kick. Whoa! Oh, continuing to attack the head as that diving punch lands. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Fighter trying to pass here, Uba gets denied. Gets denied, great job, great recognition of seeing what your opponent was trying to do. Well, you gotta be working off of your back, he's certainly doing so here, nice punch. Lands with the ground and pound here. Oh man, that left side is getting beat up now, look at the redness there. Well, he's up, but he is hurting for certain. The finish could come at any time. Just missed with the leg kick. All right, well, time is the enemy now, DC, and he's really running out of it if he's going to get his hand raised tonight. He's got to go forward. He's got to just throw everything at his opponent to try and find that punch or that kick that's going to end the fight. There is no time for strategy. Very tricky when he throws that body kick. 90 seconds to go in the fight. Oh, and he lands another huge knee there as the taller fighter uses his length well yet again. Visibly limping here. Just unable to quite find that range. 
Clipped him with the right hand there. Cable inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Beautiful body shot. All right, 45 seconds now to go in the round. Massive knee lands from the tight clinch. How good is that right hand? Caught the kick. He's an outstanding kicker, but that attempt missed. Nice punch, man. What a 15 minutes put forth. The official decision is now in. Here is Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score the contest 50 45. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision, Bruce the Dragon Lee. All right, nice job by him there as he is your winner via unanimous decision. And sometimes I would think it's easier said than done to just leave the judges out of it. Dominant performance and he gets his hand raised. Yeah, and if you've got to go to the judges, leave no question, right? Be the person that is so dominant that you know you're getting your hand raised. He did exactly that tonight and he gets a dominant.